day's job is trying to get the cylinder head on. I've put in this seal, it's uh, that's the oil pathway from the bottom to the rockers. Um, and then I've got a new gasket. In the manual it says to um, use a sealant if it's a copper face gasket, but this it seems to be aluminium. So, well, And I've re-cleaned the top of the block and the bottom of the cylinder head, so I'll just go and get the cylinder head and uh, see if we can get it to slide in nicely. It's not exactly light, that's the main problem. Right, the head's been skimmed and what have you. New valves, new valve seats. So what? I'll get one which end it should uh, the rest should follow. I've cleaned up all the bolts. We just take a try and be careful we don't drop anything down here. Again. They're about five quid each these bolts to buy new. I think they're 16 of them. Spider in my brain. It wouldn't be the first time. I've deliberately left injectors out so we can rotate the engine to get the um, the rocker set without compression. One problem is I'm short of one of the rotator cups and they've got to be... I haven't found out they can make one yet. What is that? It's going to hold. Sure, hopefully. You can, well, you can't leave them off. What it does is it pushes the valve down and turns it a little bit every time the valve goes down so it keeps the face clear. You could use an air gun to do this, but I'm not a big fan of uh, putting bolts in with an air gun. Taking them out yet. I might have to put the injectors in before the rockers. I'm just looking at where they're sitting. Things we will.
and I took the head off, it had indentations in it where it had been sitting on the top of the seals. <coughs> Sorry, the piston liners. Right, now, the top wrench. I'll refer to the Bible according to Ford. For Ford's in these days. So I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can download this manual. It's in New Zealand, but you can download it on a PDF. And what it says is torque at 85 to 90 foot pounds, Jim, in sequence shown in figure 18. So you start in the middle, work your way out. Basically, I don't know if you can see that with the numbers on the cylinder head there. We shall ad ad adhere to that as much as possible. So this is the start of that one. I suppose we'd be better setting, the, setting up the dot wrench first, wouldn't we? Eighty-five to ninety. <coughs> right, I've set the top wrench to eighty-five. So this is the old one. So we'll see if it clicks or not. Just work my way out a bit at a time. Here. 16 and 17 17 volts okay start again number one Three, 
four. Five. This is hard work. Six. Seven. Hit the number sixteen, seventeen. Right, should be able to hit torque now with it. As we go, one that's eighty five, two, <coughs> three. Nope. four. Six, six is over here. Six, seven. Let's see over here. Eight, nine, ten. I was ten. That's here. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So that's them all torqued to uh, 85 pounds foot. Uh, I'm using my old torque wrench because that new one, I don't really like it. Never mind. So it looks like we might need to put the rockers on. Let's see. I wonder if we can get the rockers on without the injectors. Is that way, like I said, easier to set, the, set everything up. What I think I'm going to do is plug all these holes with bits of paper in case anything falls down because I had a bolt go down into the tap um, camshaft runners earlier and had great fun getting it out Right, I've popped in injector one of the copper seals in I'll just drop it in in case any dirt goes down and we can give it a blowout before we put it in properly. So I've got new seals here as well. These have got new ends on them. I didn't do it, it was done by a specialist.
It looks like that thread's been hit by a grinder. Not sure where that thread is. Did he cut it? I've got new 516 bolts to put in because I'm not sure what I've done with the other ones. I'm missing the long bolts for the rocker covers as well. So, as I'm not feeling great today, I don't think I'll be doing much more. Pain levels are high today. For some reason that one doesn't want to go in past the What's it? Just need a wee bit of encouragement. <laughs> Mean a gentle knock with some Nice new 516 UNC bolts.
to start it. Should be in the right place because the seal should take up the right place. Resistance now that should be it, I think. Now, yeah, according to the Ford's and manual, these should be uh, twenty five to thirty pounds per square inch foot pounds Jim I remember what does it say on here foot pounds you're quite correct I see this is the top wrench has been a bomb Right, I've set it to thirty foot pounds. We should have compression there, I think. And if we don't, I'm just gonna cry. <clears throat> Set that to 25. That seems to have an awful lot of pressure. Beast that is twenty five pound foot pounds. Of course, pounds per square inch is PSI. Isn't it? Get some of the old amber nectar. Right, let's see if we've got some compression. Oh, Jesus, yes. Oh. 
Holy shit, that's a... Might make a difference. Right, we'll have compression. Think what we'll do. Pipes that feed all this. Okay, okay. I've decided to do a little bit more, but see how the pain levels go. So I've got the lash caps here, or whatever you want to call them. So it should be on top of here. It's got to be one to one to three thousands. So we measure that. 210,000. We need to know the thickness of this, wouldn't we? Hmm. So that's 44 thousandths of an inch at the top there. That's 208 to the top. 283 less 44 is 240 two. that's 242 probably cooking this up, I don't mind, mine's not working that's 209 that can't be right because that makes it 40 wood is 231 and there, there is 204 so I think it will work call it 210 That's given us that's twelve thousands there is between the top of there and the top of there. I'm not sure how we counteract that. So we've got ten thousands of difference between that and that, and it says one to three. So that's uh, that's be just because of the new valves and everything. Ooh, let's try this one. That's two 
226. Oh, yeah, 226, that's 13 that one. I think what I'm going to do is just not put them on. It'll just be a pain in the butt otherwise. So that's 202, 201. That's 208, so even that one's 9 out. I think the best bet is just don't bother because it's going to be too complicated to put them in. Probably get a few comments from the people saying, why didn't you put them in? This is because I couldn't be asked. Probably just gonna run the it'll still work without them but like I say all it does is turn the valve a little bit. It just means the exhaust valve will be in the same place all the time. And take the rockers off and hit it with a hammer every now and again it'll go around. tractor shed, the burns come up with the rain in the night and then they're a little bit flooded out. But, uh, it does it every now and again. The deepest it's been in here is about two feet. I was going to pick everything up. I did pick some stuff up the other day. So, and we're expecting Torrent that's going down the river at the moment. It's just a burn really. So we've got a little bit of uh, water here, so I'm expecting it to go higher. So put some stuff in the back of the Polaris and it should be okay. No, I'll stick it out. Tracks will be okay. So for now.